Look, I'm a simple woman. I'm not somebody to get hung up on packaging, but sometimes I gotta rant. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Maggie, and the only thing I love more than makeup is makeup packaging that actually works. I know that sometimes when you buy makeup that is more affordable slash drugstore, that means the packaging can't always be perfect, but sometimes, even high-end products create packaging that is simply unforgivable. So today I thought I'd share with you all of the product packaging that just drives me batty. We're using specific product examples. In a lot of cases, they're products that I truly love, but the packaging just pains me deeply. I'm being dramatic. This is a rant. It's all in good fun, but I am going to kind of up the ante a little bit for sake of a silly little YouTube video. But if you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe. I do put out new videos every single week. Let's get on into it. Okay, to the surprise of no one, anything Physician's Formula makes is going to make the list. I have never in my life experienced such clunky nonsense as Physician's Formula packaging. Like, they just make this so bulky and unnecessary, and like, how am I supposed to store this? It's so huge, and I don't see why. Because this can't be cheap to manufacture, and this isn't limited to just their pressed powder products. Back in the day when I was just getting into makeup, I used their mineral wear foundation, and it was just unnecessarily stupid. I'll throw a picture up on the screen to give you an idea, but yikes. Couldn't put it anywhere because it was just so impractical. I don't know what Physician's Formula gets out of making their products so impossible, but my current theory is they make their products so bulky so you won't have room to buy anything else. Just Physician's Formula. If so, it's evil, but I do see the merit behind it. And while we're on the subject, if you are a powder product with a dome packaging, I don't like you. Because how am I supposed to store this? I can't stack them because it just, you know, slides right off. If I do attempt to put this anywhere, this has got to be on top. And because it's so bulky and weird, sometimes it just won't fit in the drawer. So that's great. The two that I'm referring to here are the Pat McGrath Under Eye Sublime Setting Powder, which is just... It's already cheap plastic, which hurts my feelings because Pat McGrath is known for her packaging, and this this isn't it. And then the EG Lips Blur Powder Pack, little less offensive, still too domed and bulky. Not a fan. I'm also going to have a little fit about mini products, so I feel like Tarte is just so guilty of this. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Mini. Um, the doe foot does not go all the way down. In fact, it taps out. Let me uh, pull this out. Do you see this nonsense? I'm missing so much product because this doe foot can't scrape it up, and that drives me insane. I'm sure it's not limited to strictly this product, but this is the one that I have experience with, and because it's tart, even if it's a mini, it was still like on the not so affordable side. So I want to be able to use every last drop of this concealer, but because the doe foot is so short, it probably can't. Not without significant effort on my part anyways. Speaking of concealers, I think you knew this was coming. The NYX Born to Glow is an abomination. It's similar to the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which is also terrible. Guys, can we just agree that a good solid doe foot that reaches the end of the packaging is the way to go because, so you twist this off. I do appreciate that it's a squeeze tube, but that is where my love for it ends. Because look, look at this. It's a goopy little sponge tip that gets gross so quickly. Oh, and do you want to see the inside of the lid? Oh gosh, that is so gross. Tear the sponge tip off of this. I kept it on to prove a point. <laughs> Now I don't need to, but wow, this is disgusting. Which is a shame, because it's a great concealer, but the packaging that it comes in makes me not want to use it as frequently. This is more of a product generalization, because I don't even think they make this anymore, but this is a Makeup Revolution highlighter. Do you notice the issue? Multicolored stripes that are very small and just close together. Uh, you tell me 
If I want to concentrate my brush in a specific shade, how I'm supposed to do that. Currently, I mix these together to kind of create an all over highlight, and I will use this for eyeshadow, but sometimes I just want to use this top shade as a highlight. Can't do that easily, or I guess in my case at all, because, like, you know, look at this strip. It's so tiny. I don't know how anybody could do that, but. Makeup Revolution sure thought you could. I absolutely love the MAC Mini Pigments, but I hate the packaging. MAC Pigments are something that, if you're a makeup enthusiast, you could just buy the minis because they will outlive you, but the top, the little jar opening, is so small, you cannot easily fit a brush in there. So what I do is tap it into the jar, and then kind of swirl my brush around in there, which is messy and gross. That's why I'm hesitating to open this to even show you because I've had these for a few years now and it just creates a big old mess. So what I would like to see is a more circular packaging similar to Makeup Geek pigments or the L'Oreal Infallibles because this is just it, it just doesn't work. I know that they're trying to mimic the larger packaging I would highly suggest that they don't. Just go in a different direction entirely. You could probably even use a similar packaging to the gel liners. That would probably work just fine and uh, save your brand some money, I guess, because this is not it. Creates a mess every time. I love these shades, but holy yikes. <laughs> I didn't want to leave skincare out of this. Uh, the Good Molecules BHA Gel Cream. I don't like this. Let me show you. Look at how giant this opening is. You see that? Now that would be fine if the product weren't so viscous. I don't know that I'd call this a lotion. It's pretty runny and almost not quite liquidy, which means that if you are not careful, you will get so much more product than you could have ever intended because the slightest pressure will just exude product everywhere and you only need so much of a BHA clarifying gel cream, you know? It's not like moisturizer. Uh, in this case, less is more. So what I would suggest to Good Molecules is just make the opening a little bit smaller, you know? It's, it would probably be an easy fix. We could have a smaller lid. Uh, my Retin-A is probably a better example and it is nowhere near as viscous as this is. That almost rhymed. I have to be so careful with this. And when I'm doing my skincare routine at night, the last thing I want to do is deal with a mess or deal with excess product. So again, it kind of prevents me from using this because I just, I just don't want to have to do anything more than is necessary. I'm all about convenience and this isn't it. All rants aside, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what kind of packaging drives you crazy. We can have our silly little rants in the comments. Totally a safe place to do that. I won't judge. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!